One thing I wanted to respond to that about the killer. I mean, obviously he's disturbed. And trying to put myself in his shoes and his perspective, sure, I can see that for him, he has a high and he has an appreciation to the quote unquote art of watching somebody, you know, somebody's life leaving their body, like bleeding out to death. If he wants to be able to refer that to that as art, being an artist, you know, he said there's there's no feeling like you know, watching somebody die, essentially. Well, you know what? I, I counter that by saying, you know what also is a very strong feeling that is unlike anything other? Um, helping someone, saving someone's life, um, being a productive member of society, creating, not taking away. You know, I think, I think some of the best art there is art about that actually is more about you creating something than taking something away from someone like their life. So sure, if I were to, for a moment, like consider that there might be for some people a, a really big high or big feeling for um, being responsible for killing somebody, uh, I'd like to believe that the high and intensity for doing the opposite, saving someone, helping someone, truly, you know, doing something, loving someone, love, um, I feel like that feeling is more intense, more satisfying, uh, and, and quite frankly, a better use of your time. That's just my opinion. So I think that's how I would respond to him. And he can scoff at me all he wants. He can scoff at me all he wants. But, you know, it's one of those situations where he and I would have to, like, agree to disagree. Great. He already saw you. Am I gonna have to do a quick time now? He saw you already. Oh, is it one of those one-way mirror things? Do I have to do a heartbeat? I'm surprised we didn't have to do a heartbeat. <sighs> yeah, I don't remember any of this. You want me to try? <clears throat> Stay close to me. Yeah. This is very interesting having Aaron here with us. need a screwdriver as well. What's this? Oh. Who says self-help books don't work? I'm kind of surprised. Charlie the book. threw it down here earlier. Of course he did. We still don't know for sure if Charlie's dead. Oh. I'm hoping this is easier with two people. I don't remember what I was doing while Shay was doing this scene.
Do I have to investigate I, the crying? I don't think that's Jamie. I don't think that's Jamie either. He's playing mind games with us. I don't want to search the rooms. I think you miss, I, in case you missed me, Michelle, morning, writing, 8 a.m. Requested to use the library or the music lounge to assume I'm in one of those. Lunch, family time, 2 p.m. Can we dine outside in the garden? Evening, writing, 5 p.m. The bar seems like a good writing spot. Dinner, 9 p.m. Manny Sherman. The Beast of Arkansas by Joseph Morello. But honestly, I was glad to be leaving. They'd be nice folks, the Stewarts, real nice, both in their 70s now. Dad still has, was still strong as an ox, having been a military man before moving to the town to settle the start and start a family. Mom was starting to get a little frail. You could tell she'd taken in the hardest. Mrs. Stewart had made me coffee. She was functioning okay, but had a dead behind the eyes look. 26 years on, still living in that cocoon of numbness, such as numbness such devastation can bring. We talked a lot, they were at ease, talking about everything. The night it had happened, the cruel details, how they felt about him, it was just a fact of life for them. Their daughter had been murdered by a serial killer and that was their world. That sounds really mean, maybe use kinder words. I don't like the cocoon sentence. Is there a more relatable metaphor? Everything. It was a shock when they offered to show me Mary's room. I was apprehensive but thanked them and agreed. It would be helpful to get an idea of the kind of girl Mary was. I followed Mr. S Mrs. Stewart. I could feel the toll that the murder had taken as we walked through the house and upstairs to Mary's room. Her husband didn't like to go into that room. Things were neat and tidy, but shabby. We walked over a beaten old carpet, past outdated wallpaper and paintings, mostly biblical, that were thick with dust. The strain and financial impact must, be, must have been huge. Mrs. Stewart hadn't worked out, hadn't worked since Mary's death. Again, sounds really mean. Can you not just say they had a rough time of it without being so descriptive? Maybe explain why. Did you find it difficult to face anyone? Hmm. Her schoolwork was stacked by her bed, and her childhood toys and dolls were displayed on shelves. What stuck out the most, though, was her uniform. Still hanging on the front of the wardrobe, ready for her shift at the diner the next day, Mary was a tiny girl, only five, one in weight, only five one and weighed less than a hundred pounds. She didn't stand a chance that night she was taken. I kept thinking about her room as I drove through the town. Milton would have been an unremarkable place in 1995, but it was close to lifeless now. Mostly boarded up buildings, the only open shops were liquor stores, which had bums outside of them, drinking at 11 a.m. It was as if the town had died when Mary did. Eventually, Milton faded in my rearview mirror as the image of Mary's uniform burned into my mind. Go hug Natalie right now, please. Later the next day, I finally got back to our house, scrambling over a package sat on her doorstep. A brown box, I had no idea who it was from. Had Michelle ordered something? Curiosity took over and I hauled it inside. Opening it, I found an old tape recorder along with a quartet of tapes. I listened to the first one, the voice, unmistakable. It was Sherman. Nope. Mention their interviewers, their interviews. Mm -hmm. I'm not completely following what that was about, but okay, you know what, camera. So many things. All the things. Ugh. Do I have to examine this? Bethany. Was that an assignment book? Possibly. Is it's coming from through here. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna go in there right now. Connie. Connie. Kate found a 
dog bowl with the name Connie. Oh, that's the dog from before. Mysterious creature. Because I had no idea who Connie, who that dog was, or what its name was, but apparently we knew it was Connie somehow. Please stop crying, Mommy. Please stop crying, Mommy. So where's Daddy? That's a good question. Arkansas this week. An article from a local newspaper, Manny Sherman's corpse is stolen from its grave. Arkansas this week. The body of the so-called Beast of Arkansas had just been removed from its grave by suspected body snatchers. The infamous serial killer, whose real name is Manny Sherman, was executed earlier this month and his remains were buried at an undisclosed cemetery in Springdale, AR. Which must be like that person with this, that corpse that we were with when we saw Jamie. A senior police spokesperson for local law enforcement stated at a press conference, we believe this to be the work of serial killer obsessives and are pursuing various leads. We assume there are multiple suspects involved but have not ruled out that it may be an individual. Although the burial site is unknown, rumors have been circulating among serial killer ex enthusiast forums online since Sherman's execution. When questioned by the press about such online groups, a spokesperson added, These people who call themselves fans of killers are very foolish. If they were aware of the despicable details of such crimes, as we in law enforcement are, they would rethink their views about celebrating such heinous criminals. Police refused to confirm the name of the cemetery to the media in the aftermath of the news. This sort of reminds me when we went to the Civil Rights Museum. Um... And there was a museum that was dedicated to, um, there was a museum dedicated to John Wilkes Booth, who, as you know, is the person who, um, who killed, uh, President Abraham Lincoln. And I know there was a lot of controversy from the public about that specific exhibit because I guess they were trying, they were worried that it was honoring slash glorifying um basically somebody who killed our president and uh i can see that but i i don't know i didn't see it that way personally i saw it as a as a part of history like yeah it's a terrible thing that happened this man killed this other man regardless of whether or not he was the president that like doesn't matter he murdered this man um but it, it happened and you know we i think it's important to learn about them because they are whether we like it or not a historical figure in the sense that they definitely affected history and somebody that's major majorly in history like abraham lincoln so what's in here focus i don't know what number what number are we supposed to use find the code for the door And of course the crying stopped. As soon as we opened the door, the crying stopped. Bethany. numbers on here is there please stop crying mommy what am I missing Aaron what are we missing
I don't think there was... Oh, wait, hold on. Can I flip it over? Oh, no, don't... No, no, no. That's... Yeah, that's weird. Okay. Can I flip it over? Wait, hey, look at this. What? It's a true crime book. Look at the author. Joseph. Jamie listened to a tape of Hector Monday assaulting Manny Sherman. Kate found a book by Jill Morello. The author's picture is the man who ferried them to the island. Yeah. Morello. So that the guy is... on the ferry wasn't Dumet. Yeah, I missed that the first time. Yeah, we can put that. I don't think there was a number. something here eight two five nine maybe eight two five nine Is it because eight two five nine? No, 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 no. What am I missing? I thought I had morning eight a.m. We could use a library lunchtime. another book we're missing because I'm really again my my this motion sickness is really starting to get the better of me now I better find this password quick oh doggone it there was a pencil that I could have used I just can't use your pencil to find what is written on the torn paper yeah I need to pay more I, I, I need to pay more attention to the items Well, that's convenient. Yeah, I, I totally missed that. That was a little hard to find, too. Pretty much that. There's so, the puzzles here tend to be a little bit more frustrating, especially the, the multimeter one with the electricity. I still have not figured that out. The only reason I got past those parts is just pure dumb luck. Because it just didn't seem like there was any rhyme or reason to it. If anyone understood how those puzzles work, let me know. Aaron, can you sing your your song, please? This is my... How does it go? This is my Don't Be Scared song. Sing it out loud, and I won't be scared long. Sing and I won't be scared long. Oh! I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh my god! <sighs> huh, 
an animatronic of a woman. Real body parts have been used in its construction. It's the woman from the vac vacation photo. The woman is Michelle Morello. She was more murdered by Dumet. Of course she was. This is where... Oh, oh, thank the maker, he's alive. Oh my goodness, I was so worried. Charlie, oh my goodness. Phoenix, rising from the ashes. They kept us, they kept us going. Overbearing, cunning, determined, cynical. Charlie, they really made us. Jeez. Oh, Thank the maker. I don't know which way that lunatic went. How do I get over the air? Okay, this time I have to look at my equipment more often now. Okay, Charlie, we need to keep you alive. You were one of the... You were my favorite character, the one I wanted to keep alive the most, next to Aaron. I don't like how the music, I don't like this music at all. Not at all. So if Charlie was alive, who would... Who would have controlled him, and when? When would they have controlled him? If with me and Shay, I mean. This music. Come on, Charlie. Okay. Is there anything else? Anything that can help me get out of here? Lighter is completely out. These prompts are like off camera, that's the problem, they're off camera. Staying away from that thing. Nothing good can come out from that. Uh, anatomy. Keep loose pins. Fingernail. Oh my gosh. 
So this is how he constructs these animatronics from people's corpses. Feeling they didn't sign a waiver. Why not? Automated waste disposal unit. Oh my gosh. Waste of crushing force. 2,000 PSI. 150 tons. Keep off. Riding on the conveyor at any time can cause severe injuries. Great. Entanglement hazard. Remember to switch off and look out and look out. Stay clear of the moving belt. Evacuate via the immediate emergency ladders. Caution conveyor may start without warning. Great. This is not good. I'm not that curious. Yeah, I'm not that curious. Oh, but what if that has something to escape? That wouldn't make any sense, though. I'm just gonna examine. Uh, uh, uh. He's not real. I can't see a light. A fucking fake. Please. No, I'm not pushing any buttons. I'm not, I am not that curious. So the annoying thing is, and it's very frustrating for me, is that I have been trying to get my controller to work with my PC again, and it, it seem, feels like it's semi-working in that the everything on the controller works just fine with the game, um, including the left joystick, including that one, while we're in the menus. Like, I can bring the menu up and I can navigate through the menu using the left joystick. So it's detecting the left joystick. But for whatever reason, um, when I'm actually in controlling Charlie mode, the left joystick doesn't actually seem to be responding at all, um, or the game doesn't seem to be responding at all to me trying to move to move Charlie around. Um, and actually, the right joystick doesn't either. Um, but then if I switch back into the menu again, the left joystick works just fine. So I don't know what the deal is there, and it's really annoying because um, I'm not used to quick times and other things using the mouse and keyboard just because I haven't been, I haven't been playing with mouse and keyboard, you know, up to this point. And so I feel like I'm going to be at a severe disadvantage, which is not how I want to get into this. <sighs> now that I'm controlling Charlie, I'm very like, oh, very nervous, very nervous. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! By the skin of my teeth. No, 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 we're gonna hide. We're not gonna turn back. We've come too far. Besides, I'm pretty good at... I think I'm good at hiding? Oh, this is not good. Charlie, I just saved you. Just do not, don't you dare. They're throwing away all their stuff. Adam, you know how much that equipment cost us? How dare you? You are so, oh, I was gonna say, you are so dead, mister, but not you. Not you, Charlie. Distract me with the papers, that's not gonna work. I crush it this one. Just ask Nick from the last game. <laughs> 